<clears throat> Hello guys, my name is Larry and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to be talking about this uh, Power Mister Hybrid Inverter. It's a 3KW DC 24 volt, 50 amp maximum solar charge current, 2400 watt rated power, and it's 80 VDC maximum PV input, and it is pure sin wave. Now this thing is, is uh, actually a hybrid solar inverter DC 24 volt to AC 110 volt with a built-in 50 amp PWM solar controller. Now, we've just got it set up here on uh, this platform that you see here, or this piece of wood, just for temporary setup to see how it's gonna work. And we've had it performing now for about 30, 32, 33 days. And we've got us a breaker box sitting right over there. And we're gonna get you a close up of that in a minute. And we also put us a little plug right down below it, right over there where the, my finger's pointing. Uh, and we have an accessory plugged into it so that you can see that it is working. Let's try this here. Now what we've done is we have the inverter actually running. I've taken the cover off that's here that comes from the manufacturer. It goes right here and it's got two little screws that hold it in at the bottom. And we've got a little light over here that we don't have hooked up. But as you see, the cord going out to the 110 is yellow. Now, keep in mind that the wiring that you see here, uh, let me set this camera back up, hold on. Now, keep in mind that the wiring you see here may not be the proper size for your application or my application, but it's what we had at the time and it's what we're using to actually test this unit out. Of course, we only have the one plug, so it's not drawing a whole lot when you're using it. And, of course, we got it wired up there. We've got it wired up in this temporary breaker box here. And as you see over here, we've got the one wire running down to the the bar, the ground, and you got the other one. Now, if you had 220, you'd be running one leg here, one leg here, and your ground over there. So you'd have a black and a neutral, vice versa. And you get 110 on each leg, 110 on each leg, or 120, 120, which would give you 240 for a 240 plug. Uh, the breaker is way too large for the setup, but it's all we have for testing. We got the one wire coming out, going down to the plug, and the plug is wired up like it should be. So let me kind of give you a little rundown. Uh, I'll give you some more specs on it here in a minute, but hopefully you can see that. Now I'm going to hit a few buttons here. Right, input is 118 volts. Output is 119 volts. Okay, now that's AC. Input is 118. Output is 119. Hit the button again. Now we're hitting the, the lower button here on the bottom. It's escape. Now input 118, 119. And you see the, the solar panels coming in. And you also have the little squiggly mark above it, which tells you you have 110 volts that's coming in uh, as well. So it's running through, it's charging the battery, and it's supplying ample power to the outside at the same time. Okay. Now, if you hit the down button, you can change the settings. Okay, there's batteries, 23.8 volts, because this is a 24 volt system. And it's a 659, 60 hertz, it's a 60 hertz system. You hit the down button again, it changes. This telling you right there, the battery's 23.8 and the load is zero. Now, I'm gonna try to turn this on, hold this camera at the same time. Should see the load change. There you go, it's 8% with... Now, it's at 11. now I'm gonna go back up there to probably get you a little shaky on there. The load went back to zero. So that tells you how much of a load you're putting with whatever appliance or tool that you have on it. I'm gonna hit it again. Load, of course, will have zero, zero watts because you don't have anything on it. Battery's one amp. Now this is where you get into the settings that I'm not gonna go over because it gets confusing for everyone. So you got US one, US two, and now you can get it, go back to, to the normal. So AC is 118 volts, output is 119 volts. 
and I will put a little bit better video out there later on explaining more in detail about the settings. Now, it's kind of controversial, but I will put a video out there try to help you with that. Now, let's go down here. Uh, let me look at the spec sheet and tell you a little bit more about this. It's a PS3K 110 volt. It's silver. It's good for indoor and outdoor. Current rating 50 amp. Connector type is MC4. Wattage is 2400. It's a hybrid solar 2400 watt. Pulse width modulation. Input voltage is 24 volts. Output voltage is 110, 120 volts. PWM. Now, this, it works with a 24 volt lead acid battery. It's a charger inverter, so it's all, all in one. It's dust proof, it's hybrid, it's AC DC. Doesn't require any software. Current output's 50 amps, output current's 50 amps, solar charge current's 50 amps, voltage DC 24 volts. Okay, now I'm gonna get, get to the point where I'm gonna show you what it does come with this little manual, which is pretty hard to read. I don't know why the Chinese don't make things bigger where us people here in the U.S. can actually read this, and it would probably help the cells if they did. But, as you see here, I've got two batteries hooked up. They're 100 amp batteries. These batteries are about six or seven years old, and they're still working pretty well. You got to set this up for 24 volts. You cannot run this system or this controller on a 12-volt system. It has to have 24 volts. Now, you can buy a different system that will work with 12 volts, but that's strictly up to you. I'm running 24 volts and I'm running 24 volt batteries. In order to get a 24 volt battery, these are 12 volts each. You'll have to come over here, take the negative terminal and run it to the positive terminal over here. And then this terminal back here, the opposite one is gonna run up to right here. Both of these, let me go back. You're gonna jumper these to the positive to the negative on the battery. You're gonna have a black one coming in on the negative side and a red one coming out on the positive side. I got confused there a little bit. Now these two here are gonna to go to the inverter and they are marked. As you see, plus on the left is red and black on the right is your ground. It has a on and off switch right here, which I'm not gonna turn off. It also has a, a COM port, and it also has this other port here for a plug. Then you got a reset button. I don't know if you see it, reset button right there. Get you a shot of the inside. Now these two right here in the very front, this is your power coming in from the solar panels. Right now, I only have one solar panel hooked up to it in the 32 days of testing. And it's a 325 watt solar panel so these you see if you look close you're going to see that these are backwards actually because i got them wired separate down at the, the solar panel so make sure you read your instructions also once this is permanently mounted you want to make sure you got something down here to hold it against however you're mounting on the board or whatever whatever the stucco whatever you're putting it on same holds true with the this cable right here you want to make sure it's not hanging like i got this one temporarily now to get to the setup on this this back cable i'm not going to touch it because it's on but back there the first terminal and it's marked you just can't see it in video live neutral and ground same thing up here black and it's marked you'll see it'll tell you this is ground and then the other two are neutral and ground Okay, there you go, that's that. Like I said, power's running out. Power's running up. Going into the breaker, just like I showed you earlier. This is the breaker. This is where the power's coming out, and that's what we use for testing it. Well guys, so far, I've had pretty good luck with this little power mister. Let me go back to the paperwork here. Now, they make all different kinds of these. And I wanted to try this one before I decided to go anything bigger. Simply because this is new to me. 
I mean, I'm used to just bringing the power straight in with a in. I'm used to bringing the power straight in with the in phase IQ7 pluses. And uh, I've got some of those set up on top of the roof. But now let me get you back over here to the panel I'm using. And as you see, there's the cables going to it. And I just got it laying here on the side of the building. Unlike my other ones that I have sitting up there catching the sun right now. I didn't want to mount this one permanently. This is just a simple test session. And I just got it laying here on the ground and it catches sun from about 9.30 to about three o'clock, 3.30, somewhere around there, and then we lose the sun. So it's doing as much as it can do. And I do use this plug right here to power that refrigerator most of the time, which I'm fixing to put it back on it now. So it's being ran basically by the batteries and the uh, charger inverter. Now keep in mind that this thing is set right now. You can change it. It is set right now to actually use the battery juice first and charge the battery before it goes to using the grid power. So you do have to have power from the grid for this thing to function. And uh, without that, it will not work. Okay, now I want to throw this extra clip in there to show you what happens when you don't have power to this unit. Now I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do it, the camera to the side, and I'll try to highlight the section that we need to be uh, recording. So right here, this is, uh oh, sorry about that, the power cord that's going to the unit. Now, you wanna see what I'm gonna do? You need to watch what you see up here, and I'll get you a shot of it. So you, what you see now is that you got the solar panel charging, and above that, you got that the squiggly mark. That's the power coming in. Now you see it going through there, going to the battery, and then it's going to the outside where you have 110 volt as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and unplug this right here while we're doing this. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing. I'm going to unplug it. Now watch it change. And then I'm going to pick the camera back up and put it up where you see it. You see now you no longer have that squiggly mark above it. That's where the power is coming in from the, the building power the breaker panel supplying it, it's no longer there. And you see it's still charging the battery off that one solar panel, and it's still providing power back down to right there. Now, what I'm gonna do is, you see I've got that little tool powered, uh, po plugged up to it, and we're gonna run off a battery. Now. So the inverter's doing his job. We're running solely off the battery. Here we go, this is the plug that goes to so that you don't, I'm not BSing you. This is the power that goes right to that. There it is. We're running off the battery. Now, how long it'll run like that depends on whatever tool you're using at the time. So I'm gonna plug it back in. I'm gonna show you again what to look for to make sure that you see it charging appropriately. Let me plug it back in. Now I'm going to try to hold it up there and plug it in at the same time so you can see the change. I got it plugged in. Boom, right there. See how it did that? Oh, 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 oh. There's your solar. There's your 110 voltage coming in. Going through there, charging the battery, going out. And you can use power to the tool. Now I'm going to hit that again. I'm going to change this to draw. Uh oh, went too far. Keep hitting until we get to draw a load. Folks, I'm not very good at exploding, explaining this crap, but I'm just trying to give you a view of it. Okay, I'm gonna turn the tool on. There you go, eight, eight percent is what it's drawing at the time. That is at 24 volt. However, we are on 110 power. I just thought I'd throw that little piece in there so that you get a little explanation of how that works and what to look for when you got 110 while you're running off batteries only.
and it will not send power back to the grid. It's not what they call a grid tie. It's a hybrid. There's a difference between those. So make sure you buy the, the proper one. Well, guys, I know the video was a little sketchy, and I am going to try to take the time once I find somebody to shoot the camera for me to make you a way better video than what I got here. But post your comments, suggestions down below. We're just an old fart out there in this YouTube world trying to make it and try to pass on information and reviews. And I have to say, at this point right now, with what I've used on this one, I'd have to give it an 8. It's pretty easy to use. The instructions are a little controversial. But that's only because you can't read the damn things. So we ask that you leave a put a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and whenever I put a new video out, you'll be the first, uh, first one notified. Well, in closing, I would like to thank you again. And if you have any questions about this video, feel free to post them down below and I'll answer them within 24 to 48 hours. God bless you and have a good day. Oh, don't remember to vote this election, folks. We sure need it.